This is part 6 of Link to XML tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss transforming XML to an HTML table. In part 5 of this video series, we'll discuss transforming XML to CSV. We want to transform the student XML data to an HTML table as you can see here. Once we open this HTML with a browser, the student data should be rendered in a tabular format as you can see here. So let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have a new console application to which I have already added this data.xml file which contains our student XML data. So let's see now how to transform this XML data to an HTML table using a link to XML. So the first step here is to create an instance of X document and let's call it result. So new X document. So within the XML document, the first element that we want is table element. So we need to create that table element. So let's create a new instance of X element class and the name of the element is going to be table. And this table element should also have a border attribute with value 1. So we need to create this border attribute and to create an attribute we use X attribute class. The name of the attribute is going to be border and the value of that is going to be 1. And within the table element, we also need to have this T head element, that is table head element. So let's create another instance of X element class, and the name of the element is going to be T head. And within T head element, we want a TR element, that is the table row element. So let's create a new instance of X element again, and the name of the element is going to be TR. And within TR, we should have you know, four T head elements for country, name, gender, and total marks. Okay, so let's create those four T head elements. So new X element, name of the element is T head, and the value within that should be country. Similarly, now we need T head elements for name gender and total marks. So name, gender and total marks. Okay, so here we are closing the T head and we need to close the TR and then T head. Okay, now after T head we should have T body element. So Let's create a new instance of X element again. And the name of the element is going to be T body. And within table body, we are going to have TR and then you know TDs to store the actual student data. Now this student data is actually present in our XML document. So we need to read this XML data from the XML document. So here we are going to write our link query from student in x document dot load so we want to load the xml data from this data dot xml file which is present in the project folder so let's open the project folder in windows explorer copy the path so at and the name of the file is data dot xml so this is going to load the XML data from that file. And from that XML, we want all descendant nodes. Um, so all student descendant nodes. So this one is going to give us I enumerable of student elements. And then, you know, we have to populate that data, you know, into this TD elements. So what we need to do here is select a new X element and the element is going to be TR and within TR we are going to have TDs, you know, four TD elements. So first we need to create an element for the table row itself and within that we are going to have an X element for TD. So now we need to retrieve the student data. So first we want the student country name. So country name is present in this country attribute of the student element. So this 
variable here should have the student element. So student dot attribute of what is the name of the attribute? It's country. And we want the value out of it. So that's going to retrieve the country value. Now we want name element value. Now name is a child element within the student element. So from the student element we need to get to the name element and to do that instead of using the attribute method we are going to use element method and the name of the element is name and value should return the value of that element. Similarly we need to get gender and total mark element values. So gender and total marks. Okay, so at this point we should have you know student country name gender and total marks captured and the required HTML will be generated for all the students. Okay, now we need to close the brackets so here we are closing this TD, next we need to close the TR, next we need to close T body, and we need to close table, and finally we need to close the document itself. Okay, so there are quite a few closing brackets. So once we are done with constructing our X document, all that is left is to save this document with a dot htm extension. So result dot save and we need to specify the path. So let's copy this. And let's change the name of the file to result.htm. And if you look at the solution explorer at the moment, we don't have any file with name result.htm. So once we run this, now let's click on this button and notice that result.htm, let's open that and look at this, we get table element with border attribute and within that we have got t head element and then we have got table body and then there is a row for each of the student that's present in data.xml file. Now let's actually open this um, for file in Windows Explorer, notice that we have result.htm, let's open this with a browser and look at this, the student data is now present in a tabular format. In our next video, we'll discuss transforming this XML to a different XML format. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.